Pound from Ohio. Morales improves to 27 and 9 on West the season, Virginia, improving Perry. his career high for wins in the year. Now 83 and 33 in his career, 42 and 15 all time in duels. And now he watches as the 149 bout begins. Roman Perryman out there for West Virginia against Colin Cummings. Perryman, 5'9 senior out of Springfield, Virginia. Also part of this six member. Senior class recognized prior to the duel. Colin Cummings out there representing Ohio. I thought we might have a chance to see the number 12 wrestler in the country in Taiwan Claxton, but instead Colin Cummings, the redshirt freshman from Woodridge, Ohio, is out there with a nine and six record. So if you're Perryman, I mean, really what you're looking at is a fairly probably pretty even matchup, right? So. Um, Perriman, you just you're doing the same thing. You're looking for scoring opportunities. Uh, tr Got to create a couple of things. Uh, you're, you're not not having to face somebody who is likely going to uh, be a little more technically sound and whatnot. So uh, this is your opportunity to create a win, go out on top here as as best you can here, and try to generate some offense. Perriman. At 157 at the beginning of the year went three and eight. Now since moving to 149, he's one and one. And both of those coming last weekend against Clarion and Iowa State. He won the match against Clarion in a 4-2 decision. Well, he's got some good first moves, right? If some good first shots, and, and, and when he gets, uh, he gets Cummings a little off balance, he's just got to follow that up with something. I, there's a couple of times he's had him pulled forward, and he actually jacked him back up in the air instead of just continuing to pull him forward. There it goes underneath. It's that second move, though, that's going to usually get you that score from there. Most people are pretty good at blocking the first shot out. At the same time, he's been the one generating pretty much all the offense so far in the period. Perryman, a four-year competitor, transferred to WVU. Potentially his last duel here inside the Coliseum. Comes in on a nice single leg, and Perryman sort of let him get around the corner. He's just got to reach and grab that back leg. He's going to get a takedown. Perryman's now locked on that wrist, so it's making it hard for Cummings to reach across. So, but he got bumped down on his butt. Oh, they gave him the two-point takedown. Takedown, Ohio. They gave it to him because he, he touched, the, touched the mat there. Near the edge of the mat here, and now out of bounds. With a takedown granted to Cullen Cummings, and he has the early 2-0 lead. Perryman 15 and 24 overall in his career, two and six in duels. Trying to earn a quick escape here with 11 seconds remaining in the first period. Oh, nice attempt by Cummings to do a little chin drop there and now he's really got that bar. Now Perryman was just really trying to scramble there but Cummings did a nice job of taking advantage of some of that situation. Here's the takedown here. He just what bang as soon as he hits his butt he gives him that two point takedown. So uh, no real re recovery reaction time. It's sort of like if you're on the other side and you put your hand down. As soon as some supporting thing hits the mat then uh, they're going to give those points. A little bit of blood on the edge of the mat. So yeah, that will be exactly cleaned up before sure. the second period begins. I'm guessing that it's Cummings that looks like he's he's bleeding a little bit. Looks like he has a scratch on the left arm. The bicep area is where they are treating him right now. Also looking over Perryman, he appears to be clean and ready to go here once the blood is wiped up. Colin Cummings, mentioned a redshirt freshman from Woodridge, Ohio. His brother also wrestles at Augustana College, so a couple of wrestlers in the family. Nine and six record. Perryman overall three and nine this season, but one and one in this weight class. And the one loss was a tough one. He had to go against number 14, Gabe Moreno of Iowa State. Dropped that one in a 10-2 major decision. And uh, just another kind of cross body ride. He's got the leg in. He's got a little too much space. You see Cummings sort of cleared that off pretty well that time. And uh, 
Harriman with that, that claw. Good attempt to step across. He's got him pretty well broken down. Now the question is, the challenge with the crossbody ride is, okay, you, you, you're kind of cranking on him from two different directions at the same time. So you got to pick one. Now he's got that arm up on the back. Just really needs to take his time. The referee's going to look to make sure two things don't happen. Number one, he doesn't jack it up too high. Number two, it doesn't come away from his back. Because your shoulder doesn't really turn that way very well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not even with these guys and the no, flexibility training, no, it doesn't. No. Certainly, my shoulder doesn't go any of those directions. No, he's trying to sink that bar a little bit better. Nice cross face. And you can't say like he's uh, the stalemate because he's really working on turning them pretty well. So just be able to spend some time on top and really crank on him a little bit down there. Got his leg popped loose because he didn't anchor it. But nice scramble and Perryman comes up. Now he's going to have to climb up or he's going to get warned for stalling, which he does. Just a really great job on top. Riding time now up to 113 in favor of Perryman. He's been on top for this entire period here, unable to score any points up to this moment, however. Now the last thing you want in his last 10 seconds is to give up an escape or a reversal or something like that, trying to do too quickly to, to turn him. But just ride this next couple of seconds out. Spent the whole period on top. You got a chance to start in the bottom, get yourself up, and, and get yourself uh, um, take down, win the match. 132, the total riding time in favor of Perryman as the third period begins. And again, some more blood on Colin Cummings. So he goes over. Now they're looking at the leg, it appears, a little bit. So blood all over on the mat. I, I'm not sure where he's bleeding from. Might be his mouth or something like that because they keep rinsing it out. But um, once you start bleeding, you're... Somebody's going to get blood on them all, <laughs> all over the place because it's not exactly like you're staying still out there. So, <laughs> uh, This is pretty important. Perryman get a good start. He's got a minute 30 seconds of riding time, so if he can get out, get a takedown, he's got a good chance to maintain that riding time all the way through, right? But he's got 30 seconds in which for sure that he's got to get out. It's high turn in. Coming, staying underneath the arms. Perryman jumping back into him. So we've got an interesting little scramble here. He's in a good position to get himself a reversal. Not yet, not yet. Cummings rolls through. If he can hook that leg, which he's working on doing. Hook it, he's trying to hook it. There it is, that's hooked. Now, Nathan Chapman, the official's not giving him the reversal because you see Cummings really grabbing onto the leg and it's, if it was on the other side of his head, this is how, it's on the other side of his head, he probably gets a reversal. You see Perryman now working a little bit on the grip, trying to get his foot out of there and they're gonna call a stalemate. The riding time is now down to 35 seconds, so that's a non-factor for Perryman. So at this point, even if he earns an escape, he's going to need a takedown in order to move ahead. Well, that's exactly right. So he's got a minute three left. It was a good scramble, though. So, and and you'd like to think that Cummings is tiring out a little bit because he's been been being pushed and carrying a lot of weight. There's a nice quick escape. Uh, so he's got about a minute left to get the takedown. But in be in that good position. And what you want here, man, your legs got to be got to be down a little bit. If your legs are straightened out and you're bent over at the waist. Number one, it's hard to generate offense, but number two, then it also becomes difficult to defend because you don't, you don't move as, as fluidly as quickly. Right, he's got to get down and factor, go. So uh, not a very good shot. 30 seconds here so he's for go again. And he's, he's kind of allowing, he's kind of allowing him to, to tie him up a little bit. Cummings is tying Perryman up. They got down to 20 seconds left. He's just got to generate offense. You want to take a break, you got you got no time to take a break. There's a warning for stalling, but it's not going to be enough. It's too late. Generate that offense a little quicker. Perryman's out of gas, too. And then he gives up the takedown at the end. Takedown, Ohio. And uh, it's going to be a 4-1 four to, four to win for Cummings. Here you can see 
the escape early in the third period or after that resume after the stalemate was called, but well, not enough for Perryman. He falls four to one. <laughs> 